Okay, um, let me just give you this update concerning o Advocate Therefore, right? A lot of you guys will know that Advocate Therefore is appearing um, in two, two, two courts, right? Firstly, he's appearing at uh, Hoshimampur. If I'm not mistaken, it is court 62, right? There, uh, look, for, for, I think for all the other charges. Then for the for the one year, what is this thing? Uh, the one that has got to do with the LPC and all the stuff, he's appearing at Joburg Magistrate Court. But you will recall that previously, I informed you guys about the postponement. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the one in Hoshimampur. If you remember vividly, I said to you guys, it has been postponed to the 20th of March 2024. Mark the date. 2-0 March 2024. Advocate therefore will appear at Hoshimampur, uh, Hoshimampur the second. The Hoshimampur that we are talking about, if you are driving from Johannesburg towards Pretoria, that Hoshimampur, uh, as you enter Pretoria, it's going to be on your left hand side. It is even written. If you cast your eyes uh, just a little bit higher as you enter Pretoria, uh, usually you will find Metropolis on the other side and the camera, the speed zone around that is around 60 and they are very strict with their speed limit. Just when you pass those cameras, if you can see the prison, look on top, it is written Hoshimamburu the second. Because apparently there are more than one Hoshimampurus, right? So that one is Hoshimampuru the second. Uh, before I proceed with Hoshimampuru the first, the second, and the third, well, there's one thing that does not have numbers. Does not have numbers. You don't even have to count it. I put it to you that you do the following. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys wanna buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so cast your eyes a little bit higher you will see Hoshimampuru the second and then you will see the entrance is just that on your left so you won't even get uh you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get lost i just forgot the the name of that road there but you can even google it, google it and say Hoshimampuru the second and then you will see it will pop up in Pretoria that's the Hoshimampuru and when you get there on the 20th of March just at the February second, I think go to court 62 there if they do allow you inside but then for the LPC case he's appearing at Johannesburg Magistrate Court court number 11 and that case will take place on the 13th of March, it was postponed to the 13th of March, 2024. So, as of me recording this video, is the 12th of March, 2024. That means, as of me recording this video, tomorrow, it's going to be the case of Advocate Defer. will be heard at Johannesburg Magistrate Court, court number 11, court number 11. That is where the court proceeding will take place. Um, yeah, I think that is what you need to know so far as I am concerned. You need to know that that is going to take place on that day as well. But yeah, about the, uh, like the logistics, because a lot of people will ask, 
about the logistics. What are the logistics concerning that? Uh, I am not. I'm not aware of any. I, I don't wanna lie. I'm not aware of uh, a group of people that are going there. I'm not aware of because uh, I know you guys are gonna. You guys are gonna ask me that to, to say Bongani has you organized something. Just like other people were asking me, Bongani, you need to organize a protest and all the stuff. And I said to you guys, hey, I don't wanna be the one doing everything because. Oh, come on, if they can get you, you are the one who's doing the reporting on the media, uh, you are also the one who's organizing protest, you are doing everything, so if they arrest you, it's done and dusted, the local they get to shut you up, right? So, it's the same reason, oh, I may, let me say, with that being said, I don't think it is wise for me to do all, all of those things. I don't think it's wise for me to take that responsibility. I don't think so. So, what I think is, I think everybody and anyone, anyone that wants to visit, you just go to Google, type uh, Jobek Magistrate Court, and then, boom, it will take you. I'm not even sure, because I know there are about three to four courts in Jobek. There's High Court in Trichard Street, it's not a magistrate court, it's a high court. There's one next to Simon Street. I'm not sure what's the name of that one. There's one on Sour Street as well. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Then, yeah. So, I myself, I'm not sure when it comes to this one, which one exactly uh, in the local, among these three, but you just got an idea that you just got to go there. So, if you are going to go, or if you are attending Advocate Defo's case in the um, local tomorrow, in um, this place, ne? what's this place? What is the name of this place? Jobek Magistrate Court. Why am I forgetting something that I was talking about just now? Because it shows that uh, I'm getting old. You can see the white hair here. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> There's nothing here. There's nothing. Right. There's nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh... Okay, uh, apart from that, yeah, you think you know, I think uh, that is what I wanted to talk to talk to you about. Um, I just wanna know guys if you are going or not going, um, to those that are living anywhere near Johannesburg, those are the updates. I just wish to know. Are you guys going? Even to even to those that are uh, living uh, look outside Joe man. Guys, usually this court uh, this court will be open around um from eight. Yeah, I think from eight. You can expect anything to happen from eight, you know, going apart. Yeah. So there's no time. Yeah, just just to mention the issue of time as well, because uh, a lot of people will say, "Bongan, what time does that uh, this court start?" Um, usually you wouldn't know if you are told that you will be appearing. Uh, you don't know the, the time, because uh, the, the the court might take its time, and yeah. So I don't know the time, and I don't think he, he, even the wife knows the time. I doubt she knows the time. One thing uh, she told me the look at look previously is that uh, they will say if he's gonna be appearing in in that court, even at Hoshimampuru on the twentieth, if he's appearing at Hoshimampuru, all you need to do is to be there from eight going upward. So that is something sometimes that makes it difficult, you know, even if, when you want to attend this case, because uh, say for instance his case is gonna take place at two. So you're gonna be at court from the morning, yabo. So that is things that affect some of us if we want to attend that case. It's not like the, the Meiwa case where you know that, okay, uh, there's a set time. It starts at 10, it stops at half past three. In between there's tea time and there's lunch. There's a set specific time concerning that case. So because of that, it makes it easier to plan around that case. But the one guy advocate there for even tomorrow, I'm not even sure that I'm gonna I'm gonna be there because since we don't know, uh, is look what time will this thing start? It makes it difficult to plan. Like if you are if you want to attend that case, you, your your schedule must be empty. Your your your, your, your entire day schedule must be empty, and at, at least I'm being transparent to you so that you don't expect Oguti uh, you will gonna get there at eight, probably at nine ten. He's already appeared, and then that's it. Like I was told that at some point, the local they arrived there at ten or eight or ten, and his case only took place at two p.m. 
that type of patient look yeah i'm just being transparent i want you guys to go there and you know if you are going there get something to eat you know yeah make sure that you've got something to eat make sure that you yeah man you are prepared you do not think that i hey, nine o'clock or ten o'clock i'm gonna be back it can happen but okay, look there's that possibility that it might happen like that but also it might not happen so there's no fixed time right uh i think i've said everything that i needed to say concerning the the the, the, the case or so the case that is gonna pay that's gonna take place tomorrow i think i've said everything that is gonna look like, that i wanted to say concerning the hoshimampur in terms of the time it's the same even at hoshimampur uh, you have to arrive there probably 9 10 uh, 8 9 10 it can take place at any given time so expect yourself that you might be you might be coming back home late right um see you guys on the next one but until such a time when i shall update you with more please take care